Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Today, I will show you five super easy ways to make your pictures stand out and look cool. Let's get started. My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also today, I'm going to kick off my end of summer sale. I bundled together six of my most successful creative packs, all of them in pro versions for a 80% discount. You can find the link below. The sale is going until the next Saturday. And I want to invite you to my Halloween live stream that is happening tomorrow night at 8 p.m. CEST, where I will do, of course, a beautiful Halloween themed composite. Look at these cool composites we have done over the recent weeks. And I will review the weekly challenge that I do in my Facebook group every week. All right, let's get started here with our tutorial. So the first one here is what we want to do. By the way, this is a shot that I took in Vienna with my GoPro. Pro. Okay, let's go here. So first of all, we're going to do an adjustment for vibrance and we are going to bring the vibrance down to make everything a little bit less pushy. And then look at this. I'm going to use an adjustment for HSL and this adjustment we're going to use a lot in this tutorial. So you can see here, basically I have three colors. I have the blue from the sky, I have the green from the leaves and then I have a little bit of this orange autumn color, right? So let's adjust this. So I click here on the blue and then I go to the picker over here like that, pick the sky and then I can move this around. You can see like this, that looks already pretty nice. Let's select another point for the green over here. Let's select some of the green in here, for example, and then move this a little bit around. Let's see, I think this looks nice. Maybe bring the saturation a little bit down. See about the brightness like so. That's already good. Next point here, the yellow point, I will pick in here this orange color and then I want to push this up a little bit and then let's see, make it a little bit more orangey. There we go. Boom. Our look is already finished. Look at that. How quick that was. We only used two adjustments and we have this beautiful look. We brought the sky and the leaves a little bit closer together and then we set some accents with our very glowy orange tone in there. So that's already pretty cool. That's the first look. Let's go for the second look. What we're going to do here is that we are creating a little bit of a flat look with a curves adjustment. So first the curves adjustment and what you want to do here is to bring up the dark values and then bring down the bright values. So everything is a little bit flatter, but you can still push this up in the middle to keep it nice and bright. So like this. And then what we are going to do here is again, HSL adjustment like so. And now look at this. I'm just keeping it at the master adjustment that is adjusting all of the colors and I'm just pushing this a little bit over. So let's see. Let's say we are going like that looks already pretty nice. As you can see, more of a flat look compared to before, but we are going to add another element. And this is a little bit depth of field, which is good in this situation because we have some nice stuff in the foreground to give some character to our scene and then the most uh, the main object in the middle. So look at what we are doing here. We are going to use here live filters. You can see down here, it looks like an hourglass. Click on that and then look for depth of field. This is a live filter. And then you can see all these handles here. So first of all, what you want to do is to preserve alpha. Click here, the checkbox, preserve alpha. That's pretty important. And then kick up the radius so you get some nice blur here. And then what we also want to do is some more clarity in the middle here. And now I would suggest you zoom out like so and just arrange these outer points so they are defining your depth of field area maybe a little bit wider as you can see here. And just like that, you can see that we have a bit of blur more on the outside and a bit more clarity on the inside. And this gives more of a center focus. And if you want, you can make this here even flatter like so, bringing down the values a little bit like that. Pretty nice. And you can see again, 
we have in seconds a very nice look. Let's compare this to the original. This is the original photo and this is our look. Nice flat look. Let's go to our next look. It is very impressive for the simplicity it has. It is also a little bit flashy and artistic. Again, you take an adjustment for HSL and I call this HSL 180 because the only thing you're doing is you're using your hue shift and pushing it to one side. Boom, like that. Look at that. And maybe you don't want to go 100%, 180. You can dial this a little bit back and see you can get some other values in here. Like for example, here we have a nice combination of violet and this kind of blue tone here. So you can play around with that. There is some orange here with some darker violet, I would say, or some blue tone. So there's a lot of possibilities just by bringing that around to the other side. So that's pretty cool, right? Just one adjustment can do this really cool look. Here is the next look. This is already our fourth look. This is inverted HSL. I've shown this before, but I want to put this in the video because it's just such a great little trick to do. So we are doing two adjustments here. First of all, we are deciding on one color. In this case, I want to have these nice yellow colors to stay and then remove everything else. So the way I'm doing this is I'm selecting here the yellow and then picking that tone like so. And you can see this gives me a range of what I have here as my autumn leaf colors. It's important that I know where they are, right? So I'm going to the next point here, this one, and I'm picking the same color like so. So I have an idea of that range. And now I'm moving this handle here completely to the other side where the other one is starting like so. So they mostly overlap. Then bring this over to here and then bring this over to here and the other one here. So we have basically inverted that area to the other side. And now simply here, in this case, pull down the saturation. You can see you can still fine adjust this a little bit more because we still have some of these green tones in here, but now they are gone. And now we are going back to that other point we selected first, this one here, because this is our orange tones and we are going to push that up a little bit. So you can see you have some nice contrast to that. So most of the picture is black and white. And then we have some of these orange autumn colors sticking out. And if you want to, you can even wiggle here a little bit around, for example, like this to have a little bit of a burnt tone in there, a little bit more of a darker orange in there. And that also looks very nice. And as you can see, with just one adjustment, we have created another really cool look again. Here's the original and this is our edit in seconds. You can even save this as a preset if you want to or as a template to have even quicker access to that. All right, so here is the last look I want to show you today. Again, we just need an HSL adjustment. Go here, adjustments, HSL. And now what we want to do is to pick the colors again like so, let's take here the orange from that leaf and then bring it over until it is green like the leaf. So I want to make everything in the picture green and make these values come rather close. So let's take the blue point over here and pick the sky. Let's push this over until it's green and then bring down the saturation like so. That is beautiful. And then let's go to our master point over here that adjusts all the colors together. And you can see when I push this over, for example, like this, that we get a really interesting look very fast. You can see here these sculptures on top. They are a little bit different colors. So let's pick another point here, like this dark blue point. Take the picker, pick that color, just move it. So we have it the same color and there we go. We have a very nice, super interesting look. And by the way, if you wonder why I'm not just doing this with recolor, this looks a ton better than recolor. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow in my live stream. And if you like this video, leave a like, also leave a comment on what you want to see next. Or if you have any kind of questions, see you soon. Bye.